So, um, motivated with the Buddha Chitta, uh, so, uh, so seeking enlightenment for benefit of all sentient beings. Um, therefore, in order to benefit in sentient beings, we achieve enlightenment. And uh, therefore, today I'm listening to uh, the Dharma. So, our today topic is uh, the last time we just continue on negating of object of negation uh, the, and then it has the three uh, categories and then uh, we own that oh yeah that was in you might you buy a challenge no more don't pass on your last of what's all up there in a matter of five minutes she thought in you soon you saw don't let's share about the number of kids with us he said you want them to know you don't need that you have to give up your share so which is just done to take it to shit man Oh,你看，那真的，这个是，嗯，这个，那真的，这个，哦，这个，嗯，我来把，我来把，真的，刚才吃吃吧，就应该，那真的，啊，就把这个，我们这就搞的都是，这个，那，我们这个，出来，人
arise consciousness that bear their image. Similarly, even though all things are empty, from those empty things effect are uh, definitely produced moreover. When reasons refute uh, bondage, freedom, and so forth, according to your uh, assertions, it is not suitable to refute those ultimately and those um, thus they must be reputed conventionally. In that case, one would be refuting all teaching on circle existence and nirvana, even conventionally, such as Madhya Mika is without uh, presence, without persistent, right? Okay. So, um, Takeshila mentioned that uh, earlier, um, the earlier Tibetan scholar to rejecting their view of uh, uh, understanding that uh, they are rejecting their view, which is we call uh, the extensive uh, object of negation, right? So, because I kept chill, how said uh, extensive ob object of negation, there are two kinds of object of negations, they are negating the two kinds of uh, things that because I kept chua, it's like a, a small object of negation and extensive uh, kept chill and negate object of negation, isn't that? How we translate Gaika's capture. Okay, so while we uh, negating that, um, who are um, the uh, accepting that everything is uh, uh, what we call is uh, object of negation capture means pervasive. Okay, pervasive object of negation. I think it's like that uh, great pervasive of Applications who earlier Tibetan scholars I accept that. So Lama Songaba continue rejecting those uh, the, uh, their exceptions of view. And then um, what they accepted it, it, it this is not the, uh, uh, the all the phenomena is not the lack of circling, uh, lack of uh, independent exits, or nor is not independent exits, or another way to say it's not inherently existence and nor is it is uh, inherently existence. But uh, they not accept both inherently existence and lack of inherently existence, existence. Therefore, the all phenomena is not both. So, and then um, rejecting those, uh, uh, that's uh, the second part of reasoning from uh, Madhya Mika, which is commentary by uh, Chandakirti. Uh, saying here, empty things such as reflection depend on the collections of causes. Even the uh, well-known, even the worldly people who do not realize the emptiness, they will be easily understand that those are um, not real, the reflections are not real, but it still is functional because it's just collected of causes and condition. So, um, so for example, we uh, our face is here, mirror is there, and as was well mirror uh, clear, those condition makes reflected. <clears throat> and then it's exactly um, the function it how, how should be, but still we all know, and everyone knows it's like uh, not real. So similarly, every uh, phenomena, if it is not truly existence, but it's function it as a that way, um, I think a pretty cover what Kishina said it. Ra, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, I'm also quote by Chandakiti and then also reputing their their exceptions of you. Tendam to go watch a mirror, school to go, uh, girl, arch. Tis a tanya to your cottage in Nunjatam to go, but tender Uma Bartini, Ume Bashiko, stop, Tajeruji, Dakar Suwarsna, that Anish Banujin Kartusna, 
제랑기다 랑신기 똥비 초라형 아니 자지기 놈자 태기민도 랑신 두비 초라형 자지기 놈자 태기민도 인상 다 뭐야 랑신 똥바다 미도가 니가 미도에 쓰여 들어갔다 우리 뉴지 시에 갔다 다 제랑기 우리 가서나 아니 우미직 바 나한테 왔으나 지 랑신에 바 우미직 바디기 아니 단역이 놈자 까발에 쓴다 병아라 바디 다 되고 얼마 뒤식 바디 어디다 뒤 까에 뒤 아니 탄이도에 까봐 다람도 지기 된단기 제발 미쳤으니 저런 어디 낙사수 와서 가면 봐 가수 와봐 딱그 탄이도 제가 다 탄이도로 와 코알리 징바당 코알리 주위 다 간다 어 딘적이 다 가서는 탄이기 남시아 계속 태기 말해 쓰니 왔다 딘적이 두개인 게더니 우마바 따로 그게 있거나 우마비 되어 마신 게 있고 다 저런 우마바 인식을 했어 이내 우마비 뇌수욕이 있더니 우마비 뇌수욕이나 랑신기 똥빙 안에 자식이 남시아 토바지 샤워를 해 결혼 랑신기 똥과 인상 아니 자식이 남시아 뒤에 랑신기 두가 까와 남신 탄이기 자식이 남시아 뒤에 까와 했어 뇌와 있나 아니 딘적이 우마바 뒤다 응아리 중만용 우마바 쌀도 지켜놓 다 간다라 지금 계실 로바 쟁이 우마비로 와 내두 말더니 진짜 양다바 마시 비더니 우마비 내두 인생에 뒤내지기다 응음에 봐 시고 쓴다 지름지기다 뒤 간다 저런 되게 말했어 다 간다 둔다 둬도 랑신기 똥비 초라 자지 넙시아 밑에 세디 룸즈 가와 마스 리비 잔이 그도 다 저런 탄이 되어야 되니 아니 가서 나 지금 자지 윤재 땐주 뚜줍기다 자와 빼는 골드에서 도 고와 아니 지금 지금 와 제받아 아니 와 양대 토바 제받아 돌수드나 빵랑기 니수 된다 했더니 결혼기 다 음식도 가스에 되다 음에 중만용 있다 음에 바싸도지 어디다 지내지 못해 조사면도 무슨 다 되게 언제 음식이 다 미드비 타와 방시아 스리퍼 되게 뭐 그런데 계속 음식이 왜 까라 어디다 어디다 그 지금 병원에 그 까라 뭐 하시는 분이 뭐 지금 음식도 까발 무슨 뭐라 뭐 어디다 조치 되게 나왔다 이런 거 뉴스 다 뭐라 지금 지금 Okay, so um, Kishina explained here the moreover when reasons refuted from this which I read it. So, <clears throat> um, so even another reason that can uh, refute it, you think you are um, the, uh, the part of the Madhyamika, but still uh, you are um, uh, not understand what, what viewpoint of Madhyamika because you said. <clears throat> Both way, the, if, if like all the phenomena are uh, inherently existence, then it's not functioning. It shouldn't be exit. If lack of inherently existence, also it should be. Uh, it shouldn't be exit. So both you are reputing inherently or lack of inherently. So and that's uh, the actual Madhya Mika viewpoint is. It's a functioning. Uh, based on lack of inhaling existence, but you are repeating both, but still you are accepting, you are thinking that you are Madhya Mika, um, the, uh, uh, the tenant system, um, what called Madhya Mika, belongs to Madhya Mika school. Uh, that's kind of like a uh, new, uh, new Madhya Mika, which is never mentioned earlier, it's kind of new Madhya Mika school uh, that it should be called there. So therefore, um, uh yeah it um okay so <clears throat> uh yeah it's kind of like a new madhya mika which is not mentioned by buddhas because uh madhya mika viewpoint is which has mentioned it right so that's how i said it here oh do check that subject here that was the magic the drawings and that subject summa tell our umma be lynched at that one is oh Ta tinta di kwa tunda ta mi shuma na ma tishi shuma tiyi do kwa ni ka sina ta pungwa ra bigi ta suni nam ji ki pa ji chwe tam ji umi shi kwe ka pa tila ji rum ji ki ka sina chiram ki du tini shi kwa tiki uma ta nyu bi tuma bi chi ji ngwa ra shi ki tong bi chola cha ji ki nam sha teba tong ba tin ju ta tin ju tong ba si ko tiyi ki du ti ka sha sin di yin ji la ti suni ta tin ji yin na ta pungwa ra bigi tinda chu a ni ka sina lung tini chang ju ti la. Ani ta kasna <hesitation> jirum jiki ta uma pi chong la tini gomba chiji mo loba kandi jesi na tindi jesi chara ngi kuchi di tima re sini ta sse ka di dini ma tui e kuchu di kuchu di kuchu sa chiji mo. So now next is a how a matia mika response to those who negate the distinguishing feature of matia mika. So here um 
that uh, Lama Tsongkhapa shows more his own viewpoints because um, the earlier uh, Tibetan scholars are repudiating or rejecting all phenomena by the um, uh, middle ways reasoning. Um, okay, the calm is re rejected or negated by middle way reasoning. So, and then, <clears throat> so this is not the viewpoint of uh, the, um, the negligent and so on. So then what is the uh, viewpoint? That's the uh, excellent here. Oh, do you? Tango あれ、でばしき南下だそばだ、天中、天中南下、メバ、ギュグと、そんつ、つばち、つえろ、おで、つえばで、あれ、かすな、うまべ、パ、パンギョで、こ、つ、で、ね、つばち、ギンバで、
Tati sözük ki tati konuşuyor derdi. Tam tam müdürsün ne mesaj için da tam mesaj için niye mi? Tino için gün di sözüne karıyorsun ha. Tanya ki namşa müdür gün yoru var. Karısına rangşin çuba çeli ne? Hani Tanya ki namşa müdür gün yoru var. O di gün di çoran yoru. Tanya ki var. Tanya ki namşa var. Hani keçi la suba gün di gün di gün di namşa müdür gün di çoran yoru. Karısına çıram rangşin çuba çeli var. Biz rangşin çuba çeli çabı çela. Hani Dönme gibi mu bu çiçeğimiz var, bugün dördük seyredi çiçeğe tuğum ağrıyız. Bize şahımın tübü köyünde körana yöreyiz. Dengara su, hani çiçeğe de, hani sosu tala şöyle, tadı çeğe kutarım, müdürsünü, hani getevada çıbarıyız, bir dönce ne de su unutuyoruz. So the 24th chapter of Nagajuna Fundamental Tetris is say, you take your own phalanxes, right? Phalanxes and turn them into ours like someone who while riding on a horse forget that very horse so same because they're saying uh, if this is not um if this though if those are empty then it shouldn't be arises right and uh nagarjuna says uh, if this is not empty it shouldn't be arises so because um def um who has a more foul to who accepting uh, every, every phenomena is independent exits. If, if those are independent exits, it shouldn't be arrest and dis, uh, distinguishes. So um, for, for us who accept that um, lack of inherent existence, that should be, um, it can be ad, uh, can be defined that arising and uh, integrations. What's the integrations? Disintegrations. Disintegrations. So um, therefore, you um, you are not realize your fall, and then uh, they're turning us, turning to Nagarjuna, uh, turning to Madhya Mega, saying uh, the, who accept that those emptiness for saying wrong. This is like a uh, who um, riding on horse, but not realize they're riding on horse, so they forget the riding, uh, they forget the horse which they're riding on. So similar, which they not realize their own fault, and then saying that you are wrong. Oh, teacher, that six shimani to the heart is that you say that you in the corona you body has no cut the move on shinly you watch it to touch in a star. So you know, you know what in that Surala Sudo, Tinichina Gumbozo, Ranching Jubatini, Kelly Bayina, Tender Kelly Batilla, and you move on to and you can do make Tawa the Chibari, Tawa Chibis, Kaisena. Rangshing to be done in a honey, do some shindajala maduva. What do me? Kiss do by none, Rangshing matu be tares. Rangshing to be shasusna, do me chavares. What depend a pet in the shaggy to a penna, meeting water a pet, come over Kinja come, come back to Matuni music. Susu Dua Chivala, Ubu Shinajala Dua, Yana Kajujala Dua, and Kujajala team to a trade in a Dua, and a condition that Dua. Do you go at the Kalit to be his name? Susu, Rangjeg, Rangi, Dini, Dani, Maduva, was Susu, Niva, Neva in Zam, and it shall do what I was. It's Susu, Niva, Rangshin, Dubaina, and it do me what shall be paid in Nashin Chen, Mubo Tamje, and it has no danger to do in Zam, Rangshin, Maduva, Rangshin, Dubaina, do me shaggy. Is that do me in a new Tanya Nam Shaggy, Dini, do to be Nam Shaggy, Tigmari, what a tea charangi. あの、ランシングとかチェルマンさん、天地と土の南社に出てきて、去年に出てきて、ちょうどいいですね。ほとんど、ちんだ、ほんだ、ランシング、ね、ルビチョラ、天地と土の南社に生まれ、天地と土の
uh, every phenomenon is a lack of independent exits. So it's same as like an example, um, when the senior, uh, one of the senior people or one of the old people, when they, when they work, if they rely, until they rely on something like a, uh, what called? Uh, cane or whatever they use for relying, then that means that um, that person is not really independent, it cannot be independently worked. So it's depend on someone else, something else. So um, then until you are rely on something, then it is a uh, uh, lack of independence. So if you are not relying on anything, then, then it's uh, independent. So that's, that's the way you can see that uh, example that uh, whoever rely on something or depend on something, that uh, it should be lack of in independent exits. Therefore, if the Madhya Mika, we Madhya Mika, we do not have any uh, wrong, uh, like a false and ex not accepting wrong view because we uh, accept perfectly, which is um, uh, like a, the, the uh, what call um, uncontradictory or uncontradictory between independent origination and emptiness. So it is uh, we are very much uh, accepting these two are um, what call uh, supporting each other as well as this dependent origination. Therefore, it's empty. As well as it's empty, therefore it's dependent origination. These two are not contradictory. This is a, a unique um, the viewpoint of Mathiamika. So not contradictory to two. So therefore, this two is exactly how it's functioning. Therefore, the Mathiamika don't have any wrong views. Thing. Habit Take so next year continues the um, Nagarjuna uh, fundamental objectives. So also, if all those phenomena were not empty, there would be neither rising or not disintegrations. Dis 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 if it would follow, therefore, you are um, essentialist, uh, the four noble truth would not exist. So essentialist, okay. Um, uh, Okay, so this is uh, exactly that you know, turning their logic to back to them. So this is it is not uh, it is empty. Then it's not arising. So Nagarjuna said, "Is not empty? Then um, it is not arising or uh, no distinctions." So that be very clear um, uh, the, the the viewpoints of Nagarjuna. It, it shows more clear about their viewpoints of uh, viewpoint, Nagarjuna's viewpoints. Oh, do you? That ten ranking word to be Rangshin, Mena, Shin Chi, Che Mava Dini, Tun Misawa, Nugu Rangshin Mebata, Nugu Mebani, Kebra Macheva Sawa, a teacher Nugu Yobata, Nugu Ranging word, a Juba Nijan Michebes, Yuna Ranging word Yobatans. Rangimu 
他就是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那么说的他天天是那
Um, so when they say it's a lack of inheritance, then they are understanding it's nihilism because their existence must be uh, inherent existence. If this is not the inherent existence, it shouldn't be existence. That's what they think it. So therefore, when they say lack of inherent existence, then their understanding is um, it's uh, uh, nihilism or it's not existence. Therefore, as well as it's empty, then they all should be not existence. That's, the, that's how they recruit it. So because they do not understand um, that uh, misconception, and this between these two have a distinction, these two, uh, um, and like I say, do not understand between, um, misunderstand between existence and lack of existence. Or, um, uh, it's uh, lack of inherent existence and non-existence. So when say lack of inherent existence, then they think it's, uh, it's non-existence. When say it exists, then immediately in their mind thinking it is, should be inherent existence. So therefore they're not making distinguish between inherent existence and existence. So um, therefore, um, uh, in in a Madia Amigo viewpoint, it's uh, it is lack of inherent existence. Uh, therefore, it exists. So uh, it's not contradictory. So that's how uh, Madia Amigo accept it. But the main point, they have a uh, confused um, uh, of this the four touch it four extreme I said that yeah the four they have a confused between four extreme again let me repeat the four extremes uh, in existence and inhale existence and lack of inhale existence and non-existence so that they have a confused between these four extremes therefore um, uh, that's all confused and misconceptions comes Ungobo <laughs> あ、ランシンマトバタン、あ、セメマトバ。あ、なるわ。もう単に、もう全部トバタン、ランシントバタ、だからどうするとな、あんで、シディギエワマチェワディ、あの、ペマラビエワマチェビトギタ、ランシ
so uh, the, all the earlier um, the, um, the scholars, Tibetan scholars, uh, uh, they have a misconception between the two streams or four streams. How you know that? So then uh, Lama Songwaba is saying um, it's quoted by uh, Ayadeva, the Chantakriti commentary on Ayadeva four stanzas or 400 stanzas. So um, that's it's in these stanzas. Uh, the, this commentary clearly saying it has a this sense of misconceptions. Okay, let me read it. The essentialists say that whatever things exist, there is essence. As they see it without essence, thus things would be completely non-existent, like the horn of the donkey. Therefore, those uh, essentialists cannot avoid being provenance of both extreme of uh, prominence and uh, inhalations uh, and uh, of inhalations. Consequently, it is difficult to re reconcile all of their um, ex explicit assertions, right? So um, it's still, uh, that's, that's what they're saying. The, um, their misconception is, if the lack of inherent existence, then it's like a tsime uh, maduba. Tsime maduba means it's not established by valid cognitions or valid, um, uh, yeah, the um, valid cognitions, yeah. And then you're not a shingyo whatever. If they exist, it must be then inherent ex existence. So who accept that? So um, if there are lack of inherent existence, it might be non-existence or it is um, uh, uh, non-established non by valid cognitions and that's the fall, fall in the, the, the extreme of nihilism. Um, here's the inhalations, right? And then um, who are accepting that when they accept it, it's this exit, it must be inherent existence. Once they put it together, it's the same meaning, existence and inherent existence. Whoever accepts the same meaning, whoever says or accepts the inherent existence and exit the same, also they are fall in the extreme of uh, permanence. So, and on the other hand, whoever um, uh, understand the same meaning, that lack of inherent existence and non-existence as the same, then they are fall in the extreme of uh, inhalations. So therefore, um, the, the here, Chantakiti commentary is clearly says that um, um, thus they have, uh, they're falling on the true stream. So therefore, uh, the, uh, they will not found the, exactly the Matipnika viewpoint. Oh, Oh,呀，那老师你有没有当过？有没有学过的？反正打个差别，千万的马多啊，那马多亲戚对面啥话？他你说，嗯，那这是什么？你看见多少人说？It is so it is difficult to reconcile all of their uh, uh, explained uh, uh, assertions. So, because of their um, until the, the uh, their, their accept dependent origination, 
but uh, uh, therefore uh, also they accept that uh, what called interest uh, intrinsic existence, right? Intrinsic existence. They accept that intrinsic existence. So and then how could be that intrinsic existence and dependent origination can come together? It should be contradictory. So it is the intrinsic exit, it shouldn't be dependent origination. It's a dependent origination, it shouldn't be intrinsic existence. So they are contradictory. So therefore, uh, very difficult to reconcile them to understand uh, until they clear that, uh, that, 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 that viewpoint, I think, yeah. Rashi, Rangu ただ、ちょっと言うわ、で、パンデンダワチョビセワ、セワチョワ、ナンシンギ。あに、ランシンギ、マドジン、タニエドユビ。あに、タジギワ、ランシンギ、マドジン、タニエドユビ、ナムシ
uh, all this having the uh, misconceptions um, um, that cannot understand between, like, say, uh, uh, here, say, intrinsic, uh, intrinsic existence and existence, or uh, an action of intrinsic existence uh, or, or, and the non existence. If you not, cannot make distinguish or cannot make uh, different between those, then you will you will have uh, that misconception continuously. So therefore, so to overcome by that misconception, you must know that um, it's uh, even it's like a absence of intrinsic existence, but still it's a function. It still is a uh, um, it's a exists. So once you know this to to come together like a combination of absence of intrinsic existence and existence then you will overcome by all this uh, misconception until then uh, uh, you cannot do that this is the why it's saying difficult to conceal it Yuta Tanya Tani so I forget uh, one important point um, the pop. So even who accept the independent exit, I mean like so who, who even who have uh, accept dependent origination, but still if you not understand the combination of uh, absence of inherent existence and existence, but still you you cannot overcome by those misconceptions. Even you accept that uh, um, the uh, in, uh, dependent origins, as I said, is which is like all this um, below tenant systems who are saying that, right? So now next, therefore, to avoid falling to extreme of uh, existence, you must realize that from the out, uh, outside or outset, all phenomena 
lack even a practical a particle particle of essential existence and to escape the extreme of non-existence you must develop the de uh, definite knowledge that things such as uh, settling uh, nevertheless have the power to perform their own functions that uh, is they do not turn into the non things which are empty of the capacity to perform function so um so there uh, talks about how to um the uh overcome by the two stream so in here it talks about when you realize the emptiness that you will overcome by uh, the stream of permanence and when you realize um that uh, dependent origination and then let you over, uh, um, let you overcome by uh, extreme of inhal inhalations. So, uh, but here talks about that, that uh, realize, realizing emptiness let you uh, uh, free from the, uh, uh, like uh, outside of, uh, oh sorry, let you free from a uh, stream of permanence. But sometime, uh, said here, realize, realizing emptiness also lets you free from uh, that, uh, what I call, uh, uh, conventional or inhalations, right? Um, in, inhalation is nihilism? Annihilation. Annihilation. Is nihilism, right? Annihilations, okay. So, therefore, it says sometimes, uh, like Lama Sokhava's uh, three principal paths, uh, Instead, they are realizing emptiness let you also uh, not only let you free from the extreme of uh, 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 permanence, also let you free from uh, uh, the uh, what called uh, extreme of uh, inhalations. And the other, on the other hand, once you understand dependent origination, here said is let you um, free from that extreme of uh, uh, inhalations. In, in, in the Hellishans. But Lama Sohova's Lam to Namsum, it's a T principle part, also said that uh, it's not only that, uh, understanding dependent origination is also lets you free from that uh, extreme of permanence. So how, because when you realize emptiness, you are, at the same time, you are realizing it's a lack of independently existence. When you, when you understand lack of independently existence, then it's a, um, you understand that existence are not independent. So that's the, how you understand the dependent origination. That's, that's how you perform uh, inhalations. When you understand the dependent origination, then it's let you perform uh, at the extreme of inha in, inhalations, right? So therefore, realizing emptiness is understanding of uh, uh, lack of intrinsic, absence of intrinsic existence. So that also let you um, the free from extreme of non-existence because uh, you understand that uh, that everything is in, uh, like a, a dependent originations. And when you understand uh, dependent origination, it also let you free from not only that uh, inhalations, also let you free from the extreme of uh, permanence because uh, the understanding dependent origination is um, that it says not and un understanding dependent origination. When you understand and dependent origination, that you, let you understand that whatever existence is not uh, not independent. So as that way, you will let you free from the extreme of permanence. So therefore, um, the the both emptiness just realization realizing emptiness can be. Uh, free from both extreme and uh, also the de understanding dependent origination also lets you free from both uh, both extremes. Bhutuje, tati otra. Ramshi meba ta meba ni sawa na cheba sisali sundes chije do kade tetar kyogi wobo namus ramshi meba na ba shana wana wana ni kamo chumde degis rangi chebi negi. Number me by the Ranigi, you are 
他的确定我们能让心灭吧 我们下一个谈一个，我们下一个没有收入的，但来到这个了，对呢，我们今天呢，对呢，啊，连接了国外的，对呢，可是没到了，都没给我切到了，都没做过去了，是从欧盟来了，啊，你们没得，所以把这个
ランシンギュビネタチェボロスゴメスタニエドランネタチェボロスゴメスタニエドランネタチェボロスゴメスタニエドランネタチェボロスゴメスタニエドランネタチェボロスゴメスタニエドランネタチェボロスゴメスタニ
so, okay, what do we say? We uh, posit that this lack uh, interest in nature. Objections. There's still a defect in your positions because it is uh, not tenable for things that uh, like, uh, like intrinsic nature of function. And then a reply, again, there's no such defeat because uh, functionality is not um, attested in that which has intrinsic nature. Functionality is attested only that, that which is lack of inherent, uh, in, in intense, lack of, lacks intrinsic nature. So, um, yeah, so attested, attested, right? Attesting is only that uh, which is lack like intrinsic nature. The um, <clears throat> kind of like the same meaning. So um, that um, again, they 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 um, continues repeating. They defeated. Then then replies. That says so. Um, that we um, the our viewpoint can be um, the view from two extremes. Because um, um, so it is um, when we understand that viewpoint of here the combination uh, of uh, lack of intrinsic existence and the existence, then um, that lets you. Um, uh, like free from um, what call uh, um, comprehending the right? The comprehending uh, also it's to help you to understand different between the self grasping. Let's say it's a simple way, okay? Self grasping and uh, conventional. So so once you understand different between self grasping and conventional, I, I'm gonna say here self grasping means comprehending truly existence, right? So that self-grasping and um, the conventional, uh, you will, you can make distinction between these two. Once you make distinction between these two, uh, self-grasping and conventional, so then you can see whatever the object of self-grasping is, uh, shouldn't be exists. And then, but the conventional uh, is everything is exists. So that you can, you can accept that way, you can, um, uh, understand that way, right? and then once you understand that way, right, you are you will let you free from um, the true extreme. So therefore, also you will understand: is there anything say non-exit? It's not necessary. It's nihilistic. Non-exit could be lack of independently uh, uh, existence, and is there anything say existence? It's not necessary. It's truly existence because it could be the conventional existence. So that's how you can understand when you understand this viewpoint. What are two options? That three options. The what is the one? Some change is. In this case, the D got to the. Yeah, what change will be? The Kunju D. Ngara Palapa. Ngara Palachi. Chi. 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 で、だんで、上まわたたわちゃげどすんだてにまんてにちゅうに。あに、上まわたうまばつばつえたん。あに、ちらってね、あに、ならびてすてら、あに、上まわびてばたたわとわて、らんらみてべ。んざんと、ち
that couldn't be confused between these two because it's saying whatever the earlier Tibetan accept, uh, the Tibetan scholar accepted, this is very much similar as uh, essentialism, uh, their viewpoint. So as well as we rejecting or denying the essentialistic viewpoint, same time they're denying that uh, earlier Tibetan scholars uh, the viewpoint because uh, they are similarity. So therefore, uh, it, it should be uh, clear with this. Otherwise, it's we confused because we talk two things. So and also this is the um, this is the Mathematica thesis, or we talk we are learning here the the viewpoint of emptiness. This is a very difficult subject. It's, I think um, or suggested that you read again and again, then you will be understand. Uh, so that's uh, I suggested. Okay, we're taking a question if you have a question. What, 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 Go ahead, Ron. Yeah, what was their their answer against a functional and existence, conventional co conventional conventional existence? They said, "Oh, even that is no good." What what what, what was their argument against? the Madhyamika's explanation that things do exist functionally uh, and do exist um, conventionally. You just said that like in the last 10 minutes. Uh, you need to understand between the do exit functionality and the do exit conventionality, right? Uh, yeah, 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 of course I understand, but you said something that they, the, the essentialists, or the ones that argue against the Madhyamika view, okay? You said something in the, in the last few, in the last 10 minutes, you said something that they didn't even, they didn't even agree to that explanation. And you said, why? So what, why, what did they say when they said uh, the conventional, Functional existence is not is not a good enough explanation. What did they say? We also do not take the quantum image as facts and so forth. It's not a force. What can we say? We posit that things lie in terms of nature. Mm. Okay, Ronnie, uh, you are not asking the last point that we should try to clarify. This that has nothing to do with it, right? No, 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 not the last okay. point. Yeah, before, before that, right? Before, before that. Before yeah, that, yeah. okay. So before that, um, the last it's a reply again. There's no such defeat because functionality is not attested in that which has intrinsic nature. Functionality is. Before that, before that? oh, where is it? It's like just above. It's like there's an objection to reply and objection to reply. After it says non existence, it's also set forth in China to keep this clear what was called objection. This claim that things, etc., etc., and there's a reply. We are not, and there's a few both propositions of existence. Okay, the main, would you answer the main question? He's asking to kind of like repeat the people here. Repeat those, okay. Then the Rangshingi Mepa, the Mepa, and you say whatever, six years soon, right? Exactly what he wants is like where it says we also do not claim karma agents, etc. and so on, so on nature. This is my interpretation of the 
ဒီလန်ချိန်းနာမဆလကိုအတက်ကိုတော်စွန်အာဒီအုံမပဲခန်းစင်တော်ရှင်းနေပါတယ်ဒါကိုတော်စတတ်တယ်လေယာခေါ
those that were against the Madhyamika view. Once mm -hmm. the Madhyamika explained what you just said, that we are not this, we are not this, we accept conventional, functional. Okay, I understand. Now they are saying here, objection, there's still defeat in your defect in your opposition because it is not tenable for things that lack uh, lack intrinsic natural function. So this, 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 this statement is the same, not really changed. Oh, oh, wait a second, wait a second. So they are saying that things that lack Intense. They're saying as well as you are accepting lack of intensity existence, then you must accept it's nihilistic. No, 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 no. Are they saying that if you don't accept, like the Mayamika doesn't accept independent existence, then something cannot be functional? Is that what they're saying? No. Uh, Kamala, uh, I will ask Kamala. Kamala, which is currently the case you were watching today. Okay, Kamala looks like that. Yeah. So I think it's not not that way. What you said it, yeah. They think they think that if things lack intrinsic existence, then that's necessary for it to function. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. They say that if something lacks that that if something lacks an a, a, a intrinsic existence, it cannot be functional. Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. What they oh, say. Oh, so. okay. Okay. Yeah, it's it's it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Wesley, you can go ahead. Thank you. Um. So I'm having trouble understanding um, if we're positing uh, dependent origination as emptiness, as in, you know, these are both uh, synonyms, these are both saying the same thing. Um, I'm kind of confused as to where the difference is between conventional truth and ultimate truth is then, because from what I understand, ultimate truth is that you know, uh, an object is empty of any inherent nature, but then also seems like the conventional truth is saying this as well. Um, so I'm confused as to what exactly is the difference between conventional truth and ultimate truth then. I see, because you uh, uh, not understand dependent origination and emptiness as the same, that because of that, right? Yeah, I mean, it seems like if okay. you're saying that they're the same thing, then it seems like there's no difference between conventional and ultimate truth. Okay, let, uh, let, uh, let me ask you, but we, I don't say that uh, it's the same things, you know, like the dependent origination and emptiness. Mm -hmm. Cassinogic, so it's not to say that emptiness and dependent origination is same or same meaning, but actually the, what is really talks about that same meaning, same meaning means it can be understand each other. Once you understand dependent origination, it helps you to understand emptiness. And once you understand emptiness, it helps you to um, uh, dependent originations that 
you know that reasoning is it, it can you can apply a reasoning for understand each other so in order to understand emptiness you can uh, apply reason at dependent origination or sometimes you can understand dependent origination also you can apply the reasoning is emptiness it means lack of intrinsic existence so this um, this uh, this is how we talking here the uh, similar meaning because it's supporting each other otherwise um, like a conventional and ultimate truth, uh, it's uh, two different entity, same as like entity, emptiness, the entity of emptiness is, it's a, um, what call, um, it's kind of like a, a permanent, right? And then um, mega, uh, mega, how is it translated in English? I think, um, okay, anyhow, so, the, the entity, the two entity, emptiness and dependent origination is two different entity as several, same as well, uh, conventional and ultimate has a two different entity, uh, but it, it very much um, uh, supporting each other and then uh, very much like a, what we call, um, um, let's say, yeah, supporting each other very much is all necessary to support each other to understand each other. So that's the way of saying here, um, it's, it's a similar meaning. It's not the exactly same meaning. Yeah, maybe uh, also Gishila last time he explained it that um, from uh, Nagarjuna, the fundamental tendency is saying um, um, it's, 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 is, is there anything is uh, uh, emptiness is pervades to dependent origination? Is there anything dependent origination is all pervades to emptiness? That's the way that um, meaning could be similar that way. Otherwise, um, that uh, just empty, that which talking about emptiness, empty and which is uh, conventional exits functioning things are not same. Maybe okay. should I should ask you, it might help you, which last time the discussion on it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's uh, very helpful. Thank you very much. Okay, I hope I hope so. <laughs> my, because of my translation. Okay. Can, can I ask something else? So, uh -huh. why do they say? Why do they now that we find what I was asking that uh, they say that something cannot be functional if it's if it doesn't have independent existence? Why do they say that? What's their explanation okay. when they say that? Okay, okay. 아니 자제 태그 말을 해 가지려고 그랬어. 어때요? 딱 빼져 있는 거 봐. 무슨 좀 무슨 그런 뛰어 놓고 와. 그런 게 추도 좀 봐. 응. 그런 게 추투하지 봐. 와. 다 추투와 있나? 실어 뛰어 놓고 자고. 때려 많이 맞자고. 당신이 죽지. 아니 가서는 딱 땅대 집이 제다 유바지. 뛰어매기 당신 집이 어디니 당신 주바 뛰내지. 뭐든지 그런 유바 죽으러 쓰고 말했어. 딱 그런 게 추투도 유바지지나? Actually, it is like a um, the inherently they exist, then it shouldn't be functional because uh, everything functional is dependently. So it's independently exist, it not be dependent, right? It's as well as not dependent on each other, then it's always uh, existence is not depend on any causal condition or existence is not depend on anything. Therefore, always as the same and always as a, uh, should be um, like a, um, yeah, same. Therefore, um, uh, it's difficult to define as functional. And also, Gishla said, 
I try to understand what you earlier we give an example that or one older people who's rely on a can can right who's rely on a can it's clearly we see yeah, it's once it's depend on can then it's saying that the older is not independently worked so uh, that's not how we understand whoever independently works is not depend on something else to work so that's understanding each other that's the way it's saying it so i think that that's from uh, the, my, my my way of thinking is it's saying it's it, as gishila said it it's independently exits right is this independently exits then um like a, we can take example that when the uh, flower arises from their seed, if flower is independently exists, then flowers existence is never depend on its seed. Without seed, if flower can exist, no, no, not, no. okay, guess it. But I'm not talking on our side. I'm uh, talking about what they say. The other side, the opponents, the opponents. Same, 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 same. Ronnie, same, same. That's his opinion saying is, is they are not independently exists, then it shouldn't be exists. It shouldn't be functional. That opinion saying, right? That's the one more. To form Ron's question in another way, he's asking, why do the essentialists assert that things need to be intrinsically existent in order to function? Exactly, exactly. Exactly. In order to function it. Yes, that's their position. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, dear Jada. Because we move the number to a killing in Java. Move the number to a killing in Java. Charge it, table engine, number Chawa Cheba, Chawa Tanya to Teba, Tarangi Tingne, and the Rangshin to Barangu to Basse, the Minjan Tayo and Pitin, Tangi to Joshua, Matakunda, two to be in Iba, Chesam of my Bache, Tongba, the Tangu in between Ziki, Tongba, the Iba Nivala, Minjan Tayo, the Tendil of Kwanya to Kore, Sintua, Matoji, Minjan Tayo, the Tendil of Kwamanyavache, Tangu to Kwanya was empty, Rashima to a Tingo, Matarashima to Allah. And Rangi Tanigi Chavacheva Tarang, Rangi Tuba, Tadus and Neva Yuba, Rangi Tashi to Yuba, Tadus and Niku Yuachi, Yuata Kunzu with Tadus and Niku Duguism, Rangi Tuba Hits, Chavacheva Hits, Tadus and Niku Mena, Rangi to be Chavati Dinit, Umekasna, or Tanigi Tanamjaki Chavati Chimar, Sutta Rangi to the Tadus and Neva Taran Chitin, Tony, and Chavachevati, Tinaji on Tishitus. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think um, why the the, the uh, um, what we're essential is they accept that way because uh, when is there anything something existing, it should be more substantially exit, right? Is there substantially exit? Then they cannot accept that merely accepted, merely existence, merely level existence. So substantially exits. When they substantially exist, they need a, some kind of very fundamental basis. Otherwise, they cannot accept the things that exist. Therefore, they accept when this is something exists, it should be independent exits. Is there something functional? It should be independent exits because it should be substantially exits. I know, I know, but they don't say, they say substantial. They don't say, uh, they use they the say substantial. They said it. That's what they said. Ngobur Mawa, essentialistic, right? That's how it translated, essentialistic. Ngobur Mawa. Ngobur Mawa means too much de depend on that's materialistic. Ngobur Mawa, I can directly translate as materialistic. 
Geshe, Geshe. So they're not saying, they are, the essentialists are not saying that for something to be able to be functional, it has to be independent, has to have independent existence. They are saying that for something to be functional, something has to have substantial existence. Now, substantial existence is something different than independent existence. No. Because that's is, that's is a, let me explain, because you don't understand between those. Why independently exist? That's the saying, the independently exit is another way to say their own arises, own self arises. That's another Rangwene Juba that we use another term, okay? Rangwene Juba. Rangwene Juba means own self arises. Own self arises means like I need it more depend on substantially. So uh, otherwise I can also translate what Gishila said it, okay? This is what I said it. So Gishila said it, uh, this is only they can accept everything existing as like a, a, a like a everything is functioning. It must be like a, uh, a, a on arises or independent exits exists. Without independent exits, cannot be functional. That's how Gisela uh, said. It. I know. I know. Is it possible that now that there is a misunderstanding here? What I think is it possible that you know uh, the my. My the amicas and the essentialists kind of are talking about two different things because the madhyamikas are saying that uh, something can, can, does nothing has independent existence. Everything is, is dependent on, on, on causes and effects. Okay, and, and but but uh, that doesn't negate that everything is functional, exists conventionally. But 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 then the essentialists say uh, they don't use the word they use the word substantial it has to have substantial existence in order to be functional okay so I don't know there is that I think there is it's two different things substantial existence is not the same thing as independent existence because independent existence means that something doesn't depend. We know, Johnny. We know that word. Maybe we might have a problem that translation, I mean, like a concept, the English word. So how much you, how much you understand about, you know, that we're talking about the, it's translated independent exits, but uh, in Tibetan, Rangun in Juba, that's the word, which translate independent exits, okay? And if you think Rangun in Juba, sometimes like truly existence, they say it, instead of independent existence. Sometimes it's a self arising instead of self independent existence. There were many different translations, Rangwini Drupa. It's not just one translation which is independent existence. So, therefore, there are few, um, Dembar, sometimes we say Dembar Drupa. Rangwini Dembar Drupa means truly existence, Rangwini Drupa means self arising, and then uh, Rangisini Drupa means. Um, uh, self characteristic, self characteristic. This all same meaning in. But the, the thing is, the interesting thing is that the Madhyamikas, even though there is many translations for independent existence, the Madhyamikas never use the word substantial. The only people that use the word substantial are the essentialists. Mm, maybe I have a limited English. Maybe I don't understand. Um, I asked to Kamala, but Kamala's you know, not there. Um, maybe Droni, best things next time. Uh, Love some junior coming, right? You can ask same question to Kishla, okay? To make clear that. All right, all right. Yeah, Janet, what, what do you have a question? Hi. Um... I was just curious if this kind of debate that was going on at the time of writing, you know, that the Lomrim was written, does this still continue this same debate um, within the Buddhist tenet schools? I mean, today? Today, yeah. Do they still, uh, have, are they still confused? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
so today uh, we never see that um, essentials, essen, essentialistic uh, viewpoint talking about. Uh, if so, then that, that their viewpoint is same, remaining the same. Uh, that therefore argument or debating will be remaining the same. So on the other hand, you can say, um, I am who are essentialistic at the beginning. Then I practice more and study more. Then I change my view to Matiyamika. And then that could be possible. But the essentialistic viewpoint or like the class or like a, the tennis school, below tennis school, is not just defined by the persons. Um, it's more defined by their, uh, what called, their viewpoint, right? That once the person, to change the viewpoint, then no more the essentialistic uh, class. Until not changed, then they are essentially class. If so, if, if today this kind of exits, then argument will be remaining the same. But I, I guess the reason I'm... Uh -huh. I, I guess the reason I'm asking is thinking about the Mind and Life Institute conferences with the Dalai Lama and the scientists and just demonstrating what science has been mm -hmm. able to show us mm -hmm. and how things exist, I would think there would be no more question. Uh, that's possible, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even in Mathriya Buddha or uh, uh, in his ornament text, uh, ornament of uh, like uh, realizations, um, what okay. So they said here, even in future, uh, his, his own um, that, that teaching, his, his time, also that uh, essentialistic and Matiya Mika, the argument would be continuously remaining. Said oh. that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sanjay Sanjo, <laughs> 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 
Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you.